Have you ever been stuck on a creative block or have you ever conducted a workshop where you had to generate loads of ideas in a short amount of time but had no idea on how to do that? If you did, then you know how frustrating it is when you need to come up with a good idea and your brain is completely blocked and you end up drawing circles, lines and all sorts of things on a piece of paper just because your brain decided to go on holiday when you needed it the most. Well, you can say goodbye to those feelings because now I have a solution for you and it's called the crazy eights. And here is how it works. So first you need to define what is the purpose of this exercise and what we want to accomplish. For example, I need to come up with a new layout for a homepage or an idea for a delivery app or I need to come up with some thumbnail designs for my YouTube video or a logo for an app. It doesn't really matter. It can literally be anything. But my advice is to be as specific as possible with your goals. For example, I need to come up with a new layout for my homepage because people are bouncing off when they land on my website. By doing this, you are defining a very clear target and this will make the entire process a lot easier. Now, because I'm creating this video for you guys and I want to offer you the best possible user experience, I will be replacing my paper and pen with my iPad Pro and an app called Procreate. But you can use absolutely anything. You can use a piece of paper or even sticky notes. It doesn't really matter. You just need eight boxes to draw in. So now grab your piece of paper and just divide it in eight equal parts. The beautiful thing about this Procreate is that no matter how wobbly your lines are, if you just hold the pen down, it will just straighten everything up. And this helps me a lot to create these eight boxes. They don't need to be perfect they don't need to be equal as long as they get the job done. Now each box will represent an idea and the way it works is that you will have one minute to draw an idea in each box. Here is the thing, you cannot leave any square blank. Whatever you do, you need to fill in each square. So even if your mind goes completely blank, just start drawing something and you will see that the ideas will start flowing in. So you might be thinking that this is a bit crazy and you wouldn't be wrong because that's why it's called the crazy eights. But the thing is, you will be amazed how well this thing works. So the reason it works so well is that it bypasses your rational brain. So you're not so analytical anymore. And you start using other areas of your brain that actually help you become more creative. In more simple words, it's just a way to tap in your inner child's imagination. Okay, so now let's put one minute on the clock and start drawing. So I'm just gonna take my phone and I'm gonna add a one minute timer and I'm gonna start drawing in the first box. So I can start with a simple navigation. So I'm just gonna create the navigation. A logo on the left side. So navigation links, uh, maybe underneath I'll have like a title and some text and it doesn't really matter how you do it. It's like as long as it conveys the message, it's absolutely perfect. Then maybe underneath here, I will add a CTA. Maybe this is, I don't know, to go on a certain page. Then on the left, on the right side, I will add an image. Say that that's an image and maybe below before the fold I would like to add like another title and some text with some benefits as maybe that will convince users to continue scrolling and to see what's on the website and that's it it's like it's pretty much uh, an idea so just on the clock perfectly and uh, that's it. This is how you create your first idea. And the way you do it is that now you put another minute on the clock and you start drawing again. But because this is YouTube, I'm just gonna speed everything up so you don't need to wait eight minutes to generate eight ideas. And pretty much that's it. In eight minutes, you have generated eight ideas for your solution. Fair enough, they're not perfect and some of them might not make any sense, but this is why you create eight of them. Out of these eight, you only pick one or two that you continue to develop. So the thing is, by the end of this exercise, you will have eight ideas or solutions to the problem that you defined previously. And the beautiful thing about this exercise is that you can do it individually or in groups. And you can repeat it as many times as you need. Although personally, I've seen that after two rounds, 
of Crazy 8s, people start to lose interest and they tend to repeat it themselves. So personally, I don't recommend doing this more than twice in a row. But just imagine how powerful this method is in a workshop environment. Imagine that you're working at a company and you're in charge of a project and you need to optimize, let's say, the checkout process for an e-commerce website and that you have five days to come up with a good solution. So instead of just sitting in front of your computer and struggling to come up with the perfect solution, what you can do is just run a simple one hour workshop where you can pick 10 people from different areas of the business, be it management, finance, marketing, design, it doesn't really matter. Bring them in one room, do this crazy eight exercise and in eight minutes you will have a total of 80 ideas. That's why I personally love this crazy eight method. You cannot imagine how many times it saved me from a creative block. And one more piece of advice that I would like to give you is that when you're conducting these workshops, try to create as much diversity as possible. So don't just run these workshops with designers or developers because they will all tend to come up with similar solutions because at the end of the day, we are all a bit biased. So try to include as many people as you can from various sides of the business. You will be amazed at the quality of the ideas that they can come up with if you just allow them to express themselves. And that's it, do some crazy aids and let me know in the comments what ideas you came up with. And in the meantime, probably I'll ask ChatGPT to do some crazy aids as well. Maybe he will uncover the secrets of the universe. I don't know, we shall see. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, if you want to watch another video, please feel free to click over here. And that's it. I will do some crazy aids, but with coffee. Just imagine like having eight coffees in eight minutes and each for one idea. That would be insane. I'm gonna be faster than an AI then if I drink so many coffees. But yeah, don't do that though. That's very dangerous. So see you in the next one. Bye.